A collapsed building in Hannibal yesterday left residents shaken up, and now the city works to prevent it from happening again in the future. WGEM's Claire Edlin reports on plans for other dilapidated properties in town and what they think is causing the problem. It was scheduled to come down. They were just getting ready to rebid. Um, just this next week. But the building on 214 6th Street decided it wasn't going to wait. Overall, while it was kind of a an odd occurrence, you know, we did get lucky. Lucky because no one was hurt. And we had the, the piece of equipment that we needed to take it down was available. And they took it down to the big pile of rubble that it is now. Louderman says the now flattened structure was just one of dozens on a list of derelict properties. These are buildings that are sometimes inherited by by kids from their parents that just, you know, they don't know what to do with them. Meanwhile, preservationist Bob Yap was already going to address these abandoned structures to city council next week. And this is one more bullet point for him to add to his presentation. Demolition by neglect is one of our biggest issues. Yap says he's put hard work into rehabbing his homes in Hannibal to keep the neighborhoods nice. And so people around it that are just letting their buildings rot into the ground, we don't think that they should profit from that. He hopes the city will come up with an ordinance to crack down on those property owners who he believes are buying up properties and then intentionally neglecting them. Well-meaning people, slumlords, and speculators. That's that's what we're dealing with. And Yap hopes that the city will use this to help those well-meaning people. We do, it's not just going to be a spanking for people that have those. We want to create some systems that help people to do the right thing with those buildings. Now, as for what's next, preservationist Bob Yap says that Alderman asked him to form a special committee to help building inspectors address the problem in the